Hey everyone and welcome. We've all been called conspiracy theorists. We've all been called all of the slurs that are just proving that we're over target. The core is one, and I can behold the tide. Now, as you're probably aware, we have an issue at the moment with gender reassignment and, gen and puberty blockers to be specific. You're also probably aware of Planned Parenthood as they're getting involved in transitioning children. How has that got anything to do with what they're supposed to be for? I'll never know. And we all know the history of Planned Parenthood, so I won't go into that. But I will go into the fact that they're putting out videos aimed at children and youngsters, young teens, remember that's 13 and above, that in my opinion would be classed as legitimate misinformation, disinformation, conspiracy theory, etc, etc. Now before we get into the video, I'd just like to remind you about the Tavistock Clinic, as that was closed down and specifically because Research suggested that the effects of puberty blockers, just pu puberty blockers, not hormone treatment, just the puberty blockers on their own, specifically into rela in relation to the bone mass density and the height, are not as fully reversible as the clinic promised. So Tavistock was shut down for that very reason. This is Planned Parenthood's child targeted advert. Have a listen to this. There's no one size fits all puberty experience. If you're trans, intersex, or non-binary, know that you're not the only one feeling confused. For some intersex people, puberty may start later than age 14. You might experience some of puberty's changes and not others, and your body may or may not go through puberty on its own. There are medicines you can take to help your body start the process, like hormone replacement therapy. Some people decide on hormones or surgeries to help their bodies match up to their gender identity or how they feel inside about themselves. Your gender identity is real. You should be the one to decide what changes you want to make to your body. If you're transgender or non-binary, you may find that your puberty experiences don't line up with your gender identity or how you see yourself. That feeling can be uncomfortable, scary, and stressful. If that sounds like you, know that you're not alone. There are medicines you can take to delay puberty for a while. They're called puberty blockers, and they work like a stop sign by halting the hormones testosterone and estrogen that cause puberty changes like facial hair growth and periods. Puberty blockers are safe and can give you more time to figure out what feels right for you, your body, and your gender identity. You don't have to have all of the answers right now. So remember, it's all a work in progress, and it may take time to figure out what feels right to you, but talking to a trusted adult and a nurse or doctor may help. Want to learn more? Go to PlannedParenthood.org slash teens. Pretty much everything in that is provable to be bunk. Now this, like I say, is aimed at children and this needs to stop everyone in my honest opinion. Lying, blatantly lying after research has suggested the effects of puberty blockers isn't reversible is abhorrent and they should be shut down immediately in my honest opinion. For this and many other reasons, Planned Parenthood should be ashamed of yourselves. And here's the actual research. If you want to have a look at it, it will be in the description, the link. Go and check it out. Use it against this disinformation and misinformation that's being spread to our children. Absolutely disgusting. Seems like there is an agenda, doesn't it, everyone? Stay sane. See you on the next one.